Welcome to session four, AI for content creation. Today, we'll explore how AI can revolutionize your content marketing strategy by enhancing every stage of content creation from ideation to optimization. This session is designed to provide practical recommendations for incorporating AI generated content into a holistic digital marketing strategy. First, let's talk about the role of content in digital marketing. High quality content is the cornerstone of successful digital marketing strategies. It drives traffic, engages audiences, and converts leads into customers. In a crowded digital landscape, producing relevant, compelling, and valuable content consistently can set your brand apart from competitors. And you may think AI is a threat to this, and I would say used wrong, it is. Understanding your target audience and their content preferences is crucial. Content should align with your business goals, be optimized for search and provide a seamless user experience. You want to leverage things like storytelling and emotional appeal. You can create high impact content that resonates with your audience, and that should be the minimum standard of anything that you create. What AI is good at is streamlining content creation and curation. AI can streamline and save time and resources while maintaining high quality when it's married with human oversight. For instance, AI can analyze massive data sets to identify trending topics, generate content drafts, and suggest ways to optimize content for better engagement and sometimes SEO performance. For content ideation and research, AI-powered tools like topic generators, keyword research tools are invaluable. These tools can analyze current trends, social media buzz, and search engine data to provide you with a list of relevant topics. To generate new content ideas, you might prompt AI with something like, generate blog post ideas for the latest trends in digital marketing. Now, you immediately know that if you do this on certain content AI tools and certain chatbots, all you're going to get is garbage. You want to make sure that the tool you choose has access to the internet. You want to make sure that your prompt is clear enough to clarify exactly what subtopics and topical ranges that you're going for. And then you will also have to feed it things like your current keyword strategy or keyword goals. The AI, based on those very sophisticated and well-articulated inputs, will then analyze the latest trends and provide you with fresh, relevant topics that align with your audience's interest. It can save you a lot of time. However, remember, all the great ideas that it provides you with must be validated. So you need to use keyword research tools, use your SEMrefs, use your Ahrefs. These tools can analyze the search volume and difficulty of keywords related to your content ideas. You want to make sure that you prompt AI for continuous input. So you may put together a very nicely worded prompt and what it gives you is not correct or accurate. It's important to remember that these AI chatbots like ChatGPT and even Claude are a little capricious. From day to day, they might give you different things. And this is why the human interaction element is so important. Doing the validation ensures that the key phrases you choose or the content topics that you choose really, in fact, are trending now and that they are a valid part of your broader strategy. For social media content, there are some cool AI powered tools like Buzzsumo or social listening platforms. And what these can do is validate trending topics and ensure that AI recommendations are accurate and timely. One of the best uses for AI powered content tools is optimization. AI can help you optimize your content for things like SEO or social media performance. Tools like ClearScope, MarketMuse, Surfer SEO, and SEMrush has one now. Use AI to analyze your content and provide recommendations for improving SEO. So they can suggest additional keywords, identify gaps in your content, and predict how well your content will perform based on current SEO trends. This data should be gleaned from SERP like it is in Surfer SEO using NLP. For example, you might use an AI tool to analyze a draft blog post. All right, you plug it in, the AI could provide feedback such as add the keyword digital marketing strategy in the first paragraph or include more subheadings to improve readability and SEO. Tools like that ensure that your content is not only engaging, but it's also ready to perform. While AI can significantly enhance your content creation process, it's not without its flaws. So AI generated content can sometimes lack the nuance and creativity that human writers bring. It's important to review and edit AI generated content to ensure it meets your quality standards and aligns with your brand voice. Ethically, here I go again, transparency is key. 
Be upfront about using AI in your content creation process. Ensure that AI generated content is original and doesn't plagiarize other sources. I'm also going to add to that. It's more than just plagiarism. Make sure you're not ripping off other people's ideas. One thing that we've faced a lot in the AI content tool development has been a version or a variation of what we would in black hat SEO called spun content. Spun content was essentially taking a piece of content and rewriting it slightly, a piece of high performing content from somebody else, pulling it off the internet, rewriting it slightly and posting it on your own website. I would kind of consider that conceptual plagiarism. You're taking somebody else's hard work and ideas. You need to be very cautious in the use of AI tools. Check for originality, avoid duplicate content issues. Additionally, consider the ethical implications of using AI, such as data privacy and the potential for bias in AI algorithms. You also want to make sure that as you are interacting with content AI tools, you're not releasing a ton of proprietary company information or ideas or concept coverage into a tool that's going to take that information, make it public and use it to train the model. Because essentially then what you're doing is releasing intellectual property into the universe. And that is never a good idea. Always use AI responsibly in compliance with relevant regulations and make sure you have your own internal controls to ensure that the use of AI continues to be ethical. Now let's discuss best practices for incorporating AI into your content marketing strategy. So we started by identifying the areas where AI can add most value in things like content ideation, drafting, or optimization. You want to make sure AI tools are used to automate repetitive tasks that frees your time up and your team's time up to focus on higher level strategic work. Here are some practical recommendations for executing AI generated content as part of a holistic digital marketing strategy. So we talked first about content ideation. I'm just going to mention it again, right? You can use AI tools to generate a list of potential topics based on current trends, audience interests. You're going to prompt the AI with things like generate a blog post ideas for the latest trends in digital marketing. Don't use anything older than 2024, blah, 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 right? You have all the specificities. You want to make sure you validate all the ideas using your research tools and ensure that what AI has recommended is in fact a good fit. And then content drafting or generation. You can use AI writing assistants, and there are many of them, Perplexity, GPT, Claude, etc. In order to do this well, you need to be building a personalized company specific prompt library. All of these systems are different. You need to provide the AI with clear guidelines on tone, style, and the key points to cover. So write a blog on the latest ruling for this tax law is not going to cut it. You need to have very specific guidelines. So you train the model, feed it with your voice tone style, feed it with the points that you want it to make and say, we're going to make these five points. You need to summarize this. You need to pull this exact match quote, and you need to give it kind of the whole framework that you've got in mind. This is critical and it is critical. Also, I hope it goes without saying that you have to review and edit AI generated drafts to ensure that they meet the quality standards. It's crucial and it adds that human touch that AI lacks. Third is content optimization. So you can use these AI powered SEO tools that I mentioned earlier, Market Muse, Surfer to optimize content. You can also do that for social media posts. One thing that I like to do is to consider pulling in trending data around hashtags, generate a list of social media posts, and then refeed the list of hashtags into the AI tool and allow it to adapt, allow it to edit what it created for you. You could also create different types of social media posts and say, okay, we're going to have carousel posts. We're going to have quote posts. We're going to have holiday posts and we're going to have company posts, right? Define what each of those are and then ask the AI tool to generate posts for you with two of each type or something like that. This is a way to shortcut your content production and while feeding it all of your original strategies and ideas. The next one is content distribution. So you can use AI tools to schedule and distribute content across various channels that is time sensitive based on highest peak engagement hours, not just for your time zone, but for all time zones, which is pretty cool. 
AI powered platforms that can do this can also create variations. So one of the historical things that marketers and content creators have had to deal with is the fact that we've got different character count restrictions on every platform, right? You can't use links on Instagram. You can't go over a certain amount of characters on X. There's all these variations that you have to make. AI can help you do that. Right? Tell it the rules for each platform, have it modify, and then when you go into your scheduler, say optimize based on time zone of the user. It's a very simple way to use content tools that are AI powered for content optimization. Fifth is quality control. So while quality control needs to be led by humans, you can also have quality control elements that are used by AI. So for instance, having editing checklists that you load into your AI tool and then tell AI to edit based on those checklists. It's not gonna be totally accurate. You're still gonna have to step in and look at it yourself, but that can shortcut the process of getting something in brand style, getting the kind of punctuation or heading you know, format processes in place without you having to go through and do it manually. One thing you must do yourself is check for factual inaccuracies or lack of originality. It is really hard now to test for AI content, right? AI content test tools are typically inaccurate, but you can use tools like Grammarly and Copyscape to just help with overall plagiarism detection, grammar checks, and some of those more general things. It is important to regularly update and train any AI tools that you're using to ensure they remain effective and aligned with your evolving content strategy. To that end, I wanna talk a little bit about continuous improvement. You want to use AI analytics to measure the performance of your content. You'll track your traditional metrics like engagement, conversion rates, or rankings to identify areas of improvement. And it's important, and I tell anyone who's starting AI content systems or using AI more regularly in marketing to make sure that as you begin, you set benchmarking data. How do we currently do? What's our current ranking structure? What's our current social media performance? Because you're going to want to then test that against the performance that you achieve when you've used these AI tools. This is a very powerful metric for securing budget. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure that you pay attention to where you started and where you ended up and adapt accordingly. Conduct regular reviews of your AI tools and strategies to ensure they remain effective. The rate of change in this space probably means that this course will be obsolete like in 10 minutes, but, but for real, the, the change in AI development and technology is significant and you need to pay attention to what's going on. Subscribe to newsletters, follow influencers, watch YouTube channels, stay in the loop because things will change. Let's look at some real world examples of AI and content marketing. Most of us started knowing this ChatGPT thing, right? This tool can be used to generate high quality content based on prompts you provide. It's particularly useful for drafting basic copy and doing some organization work, putting things in tables, sorting lists, and things like that. Phrase is another. Phrase helps you create F-R-A-S-E. Content briefs and outlines, it analyzes top performing content for your target keywords. It also offers AI-driven writing and optimization features. Market Muse and Surfer SEO are the two optimization platforms for SEO that I like the best. These platforms use AI, NLP, SERP data to optimize your content for SEO. So these can both provide detailed content briefs, keyword suggestions, and competitive analysis to help you create content that ranks well for search engines. BuzzSumo has pretty advanced AI capabilities that can help you identify trending topics and popular content in your industry. It's excellent for content ideation and research. Grammarly, so primarily known for grammar checking, but Grammarly AI has features that can help with style and tone adjustments and ensure your content is polished and professional. Jasper AI was probably the first content tool to try to do that. I haven't had great success with it. Grammarly has probably some more sophisticated options, but the best option is to train a model yourself on your voice and tone. By leveraging AI tools for content creation, optimization, and distribution, you can improve efficiency, boost engagement, and drive better results. Remember, balance AI-generated content with human creativity and oversight. This is how you're gonna maintain quality and authenticity. In our next session, we'll talk through all of the ethical considerations for using AI for marketing.